Thanks for joining us, Lauren. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure, my name is Lauren Feiner. I'm a junior here at the University of Pennsylvania. I'm from New York City, and I'm also the editor-in-chief of The Daily Pennsylvanian, which is the school's independent student newspaper. And how often does The Daily Pennsylvania run issues? We print uh, four times a week, but we are also online every single day. How and when does the DP decide which stories are important to publish? Story ideas can come from anywhere, conversations with friends, press releases, or general observations. Generally, reporters pitch stories to their editors who decide if the pitch is interesting, timely, and relevant enough to cover. The editors then assign the best stories for reporters to get started on. And how do you research a story? The first thing you have to do to research a story is figure out your sources. Who are the key players? A good way to go about this is to break the story down into its parts and figure out who is on each side. If you're writing about what students think about meal plans on campus, for example, you'd obviously want to interview students, but you'd also want to interview the people who make the food and the administrators who are in charge of the meal plan. It's helpful to think about who has a reason to care about what you're reporting on. Perhaps a student nutrition group would care about how Penn structures its meal plans, or a professor who studies access to food in college. Once you have a wide range of sources, you will begin to see themes and sometimes even contradictions come up after interviewing people. These themes should help you figure out your angle or the point or direction of your story. What do you do to prepare for an interview? You don't have to know everything when you go into an interview, but you do have to know enough to show your source that you care and took the time to learn the basics. Do some research ahead of time to find out who this person is and what they are involved in. It's good to have a list of topics or questions you know you won't want to forget to ask, but don't be afraid to go off script. In most interviews, you want to start with the easy questions first to make your source feel comfortable and get to know more about them. If you have tough questions to ask, it's always better to ask later on, once you've established this level of ease. Also, always ask follow-up questions, especially if you are unsure of something. It's much better to risk seeming stupid than to have to guess what someone meant later on. How do you pick to quote something versus just reporting on what someone says? A lot of times, you can write what someone says in a way that is shorter and clearer than their actual quote. Quotes should only be used when they add to or advance the story. Good quotes are eloquent, say something in a unique way, or say something you can't quite put in your own words. Sometimes, you can't use quotes because you agreed on this with your source beforehand. If you talk on background with a source, this means you cannot directly quote them, but can use the information they provide to guide your reporting.